The NBA 2K24 news cycle has officially begun and we've started to get some information when it comes to the new game coming out this September. And we also have gotten a couple of trailers, as you can see right here, hinting to some really great things that we are going to be getting in this game, which include crossplay. We'll talk all about that later on in this video, man, but let's get started. Let's go. <sighs> All right, so let's take a look at everything 2K has to offer, all of the information that we currently have on 2K24 on their website. Buy NBA 2K24, grab your squad and experience the past, present, and future of hoops culture in NBA 2K24. Enjoy loads of pure, unadulterated action and limitless personalized my player options in my career. Collect an impressive array of legends and build your perfect lineup in my team. Feel more responsive gameplay and polished visuals while playing with your favorite NBA and WNBA teams in play now. See you on the court. Okay, so this isn't a whole lot, but now let's go down to compare editions okay now these are the three editions of the game now there's one thing that i want to cover really quickly which is something that's kind of interesting i don't think there's another cover athlete except for like the special versions of the game that they'll make so they'll have like a wnba version they'll have an international version but aside from just regular cover athletes i don't think we're getting another one in the u.s it's not going to be like jason tatum or sga or donovan mitchell it's going to be just kobe on the cover so we're going to start over here on the right with the kobe bryant edition this is going to be the basic version of the game and with it you're going to get the base game and then you get some pre-order bonuses with that pre-order bonus you're going to get 5,000 virtual currency and 5,000 my team points 10 my team promo packs delivered one a week five times six my career boost types three times three gatorade boost types and a 95 rated kobe bryant my team free agent card so that's all you're getting for the base game you're literally getting just the game and some pre-order bonuses and that is it now let's move on to the black mamba edition with this you're gonna get nba 2k24 for xbox one and xbox series s slash x 100k virtual currency and 15k my team points 2k24 starting five draft box 10 box my team promo packs cover star sapphire card one diamond shoe one ruby coach and a two hour double xp coin 10 times six types my career skill boost and 10 times three types of gatorade boost you're gonna get all the gatorade boost and all the skill boost for 10 each and then we're gonna get four cover athlete t-shirts for your my player 2k24 backpack 2k24 electric skateboard electric skateboard that's new does that mean we're gonna get like a nice vehicle default that allows us to get around the city faster and get like an electric skateboard that's fire i think that's kind of cool 2k24 arm sleeves okay that's standard now pre-order bonus pre-order the 2k24 black mamba edition to receive the following digital items 5,000 extra vc 5,000 my team points 10 my team promo packs and then six my career boost types three gatorade boost types and a 95 rated kobe bryant my team free agent card okay so the pre-order bonus i'm not gonna lie the pre-order bonus ain't really hitting like that let's get over to the 25th anniversary edition this is going to be the most expensive version moving on to this nba 2k24 25th anniversary edition nba 2k24 for xbox one series ssx whichever version of the console you're getting i'm looking at the xbox versions because i play on xbox 2k24 starting five draft box three option packs i think that's something my team related 10 box my team promo packs cover star sapphire card cover star ruby rookie card one diamond shoe ruby coach two hour double xp token okay 15 times all of the skill boost and 15 times all the gatorade boost so instead of 10 you're gonna get 15 so just five extra boosts uh you're getting all the cover t-shirts that you get on this edition with this one and then you're gonna get a black mamba my player capsule with four different items that's interesting i don't know what that's gonna be and then this is the thing that they're tying in with this like they did last year you're also going to get a 12 month nba league pass subscription and then you're going to get the same pre-order bonus down here as you do get with the previous versions of it so i'm just going to give you guys my quick opinion really quickly about which version of the game you should buy if you're buying 2k24 which i would assume you are going to if you're watching this video but i'm more than likely just getting the kobe bryant edition to get the base game because listen i'm realistically only playing next gen next year i don't need to buy this version that allows me to play both versions of the game i'm buying only next gen and i'm staying on next gen and then when it comes to the 100k vc you get with this one if you're only upgrading from the standard edition to the uh what is this the black mamba edition that's an extra 30 dollars 
fast. So basically, if I want that 100k VC, I'll be paying an extra $30 for 100k VC when I could just pay 50 for 200 or 99 for 450. So it's just not worth the same amount uh, that you would if you just bought VC in game. So I don't think this 100k VC is worth it for the Black Mamba edition because I'll just get the base game and buy my VC when I get into the game and it'll be cheaper per dollar, which is actually something I said last year for my 2k23 video when it came to the VC. It's not worth upgrading to this one for the VC because it's not cost effective. And then there's a bunch of my team stuff. If you guys want this my team stuff, I don't really know a whole lot about my team, so I can't really determine whether this stuff is valuable or not. So I'm not gonna speak on this, but I'm more than likely just getting the base game. I'll take my pre-order bonuses and I'll call it a day there. Not gonna need the league pass. I don't use league pass. I, I'm too busy to watch basketball that much. I'll usually watch highlights and a couple games here and there, but not enough to where I think I need league pass. But definitely gonna get the Kobe Bryant edition. And now let's move down to game details so when it comes to game details it says grab your squad and experience the past present and future hoops of culture and nba 2k24 enjoy pure authentic action and limitless personalized my player options in my career collect an impressive i think this was at the top so we're gonna move down yeah this is at the top of the thing that we just read so mamba moments okay so they're bringing back the jordan challenges but now it's mamba moments which i think is something a lot of us predicted and a lot of us wanted so we're gonna get mamba moments which says channel your inner mamba mentality as you recreate kobe's most dominant and captivating performances during his rise to global superstardom revisit his early career triumphs as a young phenom and progress through his transcendent journey from elite score to one of the greatest players of all time this is gonna be super super fun I don't know if I'm going to play this. I never even played the Jordan challenges yet, but I might try and play this. Like if they have like cool things like, oh, you get to play his last game. You get to play when he scored 81 points. I feel like there's a couple cool things here and there that I would want to play as Kobe. So I think this is a really cool thing they added. This is a big thing. Game is changing. Introducing Pro Play, a groundbreaking new technology that directly translates NBA footage into 2K24 gameplay. Pro Play delivers animations and movements via encore NBA action for a generational leap in authenticity. What I think this is, up until until now with how 2k would capture animations they would have people come in and they would motion capture the animations that way right they'd have people act out the animations or they'll have players come in so they'll have players come in and dribble around and they'll capture their animations that way now what it sounds like they're doing is they're saying hey we could take highlights from a game we could take footage from a game and turn that into the animations you guys will use so we don't have to do all the mocap and stuff as long as it's accurate and it gets us more animations I'm down. I'm fine with it. I don't think it's going to slow down the game. I don't think it's going to make the game clunkier, but I feel like it's just going to give us the opportunity to use more animations faster, which I'm down with. My career heats up. Take control of your legacy in my career and ascend from a generational talent to a Hall of Famer. Chasing greatness. I swear to God, you better leave Shep Owens in 23. Chasing greatness and championships along the way. Explore a stunning tropical backdrop and flex your custom personalized style in an all new sit. All new sit. Jesus, we're getting the city again. Okay. Rich with op optional side quests and sizzling streetball competition. Optional side quests. Thank you, God. If this is optional and I can play through the My Career Story without having to do this crap, if that's what that means, thank you, God. Uh, and sizzling streetball competition. Okay, so park. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, manager My Team. I'll read through this, but again, this is not going to matter a whole lot to me. The classic card collecting mode is back and loaded with endless hours of customizable fun. Draw from the past and present using today's all-stars and all-time legends from a squad capable of dominating single-player and multiplayer modes. My Team features a collection of innovative improvements, including an all-new salary cap mode while maintaining its signature competitive feel. And then here is the big thing. This is what everybody's excited about. Crossplay is here. Grab your friends and enjoy the ultimate basketball experience in NBA 2K24 thanks to crossplay between new generation consoles. Compete with or against players around the world in dynamic co-op matches, thrilling online tournaments, or casual pickup games. And 2K did put out a tweet about this. Crossplay is going to be allowed in L game modes, which means we're going to be using it in park pro am stage uh maybe even wreck i don't know how that's gonna work probably wreck too but it's gonna be in every single mode it's gonna be in my team it's gonna be in play now it's gonna be usable in every single mode which makes this super super exciting i feel like content wise this is gonna create a lot of opportunities for collabs it's gonna create a lot of opportunities for really good wagers next year maybe wagers come back next year because you can have people like uh lager fan or joe knows going up against like tycino or steezo for like the first time as far as i know first time ever so i feel like that would be some really cool stuff and then it would 
would make Pro-Am very interesting because usually when it comes to Pro-Am, you got people like the Hall of Fame League. You have a bracket for PS5 and you have a bracket for Xbox Series X and that's it. They're separate brackets. But now, <laughs> this year, tournaments might just be one bracket and it'll be just all the teams competing against each other. You might have teams like Black Market and Liquid going against like the Bears with Bear to Beast or La Monsta's Pro-Am team. It, it, it could create a lot of really good opportunities for competitive matches against teams that we've never seen compete against each other before. I've been in touch with a lot of PlayStation content creators and like we're all really excited for this and I just think it's going to be a really good thing for the game. That's going to be it for today's video. I think we've covered every single thing that we already know about NBA 2K24 and I'll be keeping you guys updated as much as possible. But that is it, man. I'm out. Peace.